Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is two identical rollers, each of weight Q equal to 100 LB are supported by an inclined plane and a vertical wall as shown in figure. So assuming smooth surfaces, find the reactions induced at the points of support A, B and this support is C. So here we have two identical rollers, uh, each of weight 100 LB are supported by an inclined plane and a vertical plane here. So in this problem, we need to find the reactions at A, B and C. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. Now let us draw free body diagrams for these two rollers. So for the first roller, this is the free body diagram and its own weight is acting downwards as shown here and reaction at A will be acting towards this like this. And yes, that is a, a reaction by this second roller is acting towards this. And for the second roller, we have the weight Q is acting downwards and the reaction from this first roller will be acting towards this and at the, at the support B reaction RB is acting towards this and at support C RC is acting towards this and this inclination is 30 degrees. For the first roller, now let us draw all these forces and reactions on XY plane. So on XY plane, uh, weight Q is acting downwards shown here and this reaction from the second roller is acting towards this that is shown here that since this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is also 30 degrees and reaction Ra is going to act like this and since this is uh, 30 degrees then th this will be uh, 60 degrees that is shown here. So angle between Ra and S will be 90 degrees and angle between S and Q will be 90 plus 30 that is 120 degrees. Similarly angle between Ra and Q will be 90 plus 60 that is 150 degrees. Now let us apply Lamy's theorem for first roller. So Lamy's theorem is Q by sine 90 equal to Ra by sine 120 equal to S by sine 150 that is written here and from first and second terms we get Ra equal to 100 that is Q is 100 into sine 120 by <coughs> sine 90. So Ra will be 86.6 LB. Similarly from uh, first and uh, last terms we get S equal to 100 into sine 150 by sine 90. So S equal to 50 LB. For the second roller, now let us draw these uh, forces and reactions on XY plane. So weight Q is acting downwards and reaction RC is acting towards this and RB is acting towards this direction. Since this is 30, this is 60. So this angle is 60 and ang uh, S is acting towards this and angle is 30 degrees that is shown here. Since there are more than three forces, so we can't use Lamy's theorem. Now we can use uh, method of projections for this second roller. So sigma fx that is the um, sum of forces along x direction equal to zero. So along x direction we have rc that is positive direction. Let us call this direction is positive rc minus rb cos 60 that is this length minus s cos 30 that is this length equal to 0. So Q won't have horizontal component since it is vertically downwards. So after substituting the values and simplification we get RC minus 0.5 RB equal to 43.3. Let us call that equation 1. Similarly along Y direction sigma FY equal to 0 that is uh, sum of forces along Y direction equal to 0. So along Y direction we have RB sin 60 vertical component of RB minus S sin 30 vertical component of S that is acting downwards minus Q, Q is acting downwards. So RC won't have any vertical component since it is horizontal. So after substituting the values and simplification we get uh, 0.866 RB minus 50 into 0.5 minus 100 equal to 0. So yes we have calculated in the previous slides 50. So RB equal to 125 by 0.866 that is, that is equal to 144.3 LB. From equation 1 that is RC minus 0.5 RB equal to 
So after substituting the value of RB that is calculated in the previous slide, we get RC equal to 115.5 LB. So in this problem, we have calculated RA reaction at A, RB that is reaction at B and RC reaction at C. And also we have calculated reaction of each roller uh, on, on the other. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.